<laughs> Welcome back to Game Ride. This is Kevin, Chase, and yes, today I am cosplaying as who? Sick person? No! Rattle! <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the bunny! We've got a lot to go through. All right, we got bonbons. She's got the cute little blonde bangs and her eyes are kind of interesting. Cute is a very interesting word to use for her hair. Cause it's just the way that it's cut, it's weird to me. A lot of the bunnies are going to be peppy. Her <laughs> name refers to the chocolate candy of bonbon, mm -hmm. which is so delicious. Cute. She has the cute little pink eel hands and cute little cheeks. So she just looks punched her little cheeks. Her catchphrase is delish, so go along with her name. More like delish. I like that she's named after Candy. But her house is weird because it's kind of like, she has the same house as Candy. It's cute. Moving on. Bunny. She is a icon. Very recognizable design being on the cover of, I believe, the first Animal Crossing or one of them. I don't know. You had her? Oh, I did. She was in my island. She was one of the first ones. But as we all know, your first couple of villagers are going to be a little ugh. Yeah, they're homes. Well, they're homes, my bad, they're homes. But her catchphrase is tee hee. She's cute. I would say if you're new to Animal Crossing, she's a good person to have. I feel like a lot of us kind of are over her. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, her design's cute. Carmen. She's peppy. That was so shady. I don't really like Carmen. Carmen's design to me just is kind of like bleh. I don't like her either. <laughs> okay. I get that she's supposed to be a chocolate bunny. Didn't know that. She yeah. does look like her Easter egg. The hair really bothered me until I realized and it's the chocolate. Teeth, the, that teeth on her. I get she's a bunny, but like the, it just looks weird. Her catchphrase is nougat. It goes along with candy. Yeah. Like in a snicker, the nougat. You know the nougat part for like a three musketeer. Now I do. Christine Francine. Queens. Queens. They are the pop star sisters. Although one of them is not a pop star. One of them's not Pepe. Francine. She's snooty. I actually like Francine more than Chrissy though. You know, I'm surprised because really? you really go for the like, cute. They're both cutesy, but. Look at her eyes though. And you know my uh, favorite color is blue. Yeah. Her eyes are darling. I love the fact that they share the same nose and they have the same little curly cue, but in mm -hmm. different direction. So Chrissy is the younger sister and her catchphrase is sparkle. Definitely goes <laughs> along with the whole pop star and cutesy theme. Yeah, she fits into that anime kind of character. I see Francine as one of those little animated characters that they have on like the screen in Japan. Kind of like one of those little pop stars. Like, nee, 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 nee. Francine's kind of like the Able sister. One of the Able sisters that's kind of chill and quiet. Sable. Sable. Wow, that's fake fan. Fake fan. Her catchphrase is carrot. So it goes along with being a bunny, but also carrot with a K is a diamond. I was like, why is it carrot? <laughs> I was gonna say they're both pop stars because they're sisters, even though she's Oh, sweetie. they are! Uh, album cover. Bubblegum. Oh, they're the on the box! All right, let's move on. <laughs> Cloud. I don't really like Claude. He's lazy. The thing is, is I don't really like him either, but I don't really dislike him. Yeah, he's just okay. He's kind of like the hair of the group. One of those, like, force. I like his catchphrase, hop along. Yeah. And like your catchphrase, <laughs> just hop along. Paco! Looks Denise. like a gyroid. <laughs> she does. I think that's what she's modeled after. She is. She is. Um, which it's odd because what's not in this game? Besides Lloyd. In New Horizons. She's a classic. She's like an OG. Love her little bit that makes it look like she is a crown. The black eyes and stuff aren't that off-putting due to her nature. And she's normal, so she's very chill. She's the only normal. She is. The aesthetic of her house, it's very light themed. It goes with what she is. The catchphrase is Dioning, which is like the diamonds. She's really cute. I would say she could come through on my island. She could come through. Come through. Cole. Yeah, so Cole is not our favorite. Honestly, this is the only rabbit I have a problem with. Yeah, out of all the really amazing bunnies you can get, Cole. <laughs> He just looks, ugh. He's not offensive. His name is a play on Cole. His Japanese name comes from the Mammy Rabbit. Yeah. You looked it up. It doesn't look like it. His outfit is cute. His catchphrase is dude. For him being lazy, not a jock, that shouldn't have been his catchphrase. His place is so iconic. But it was a lace. It goes well. Dude goes well with his place. Yeah, that does. I will say that. 
Dot, the Mr. Professor himself. His name comes from Bugs Bunny. What's up, Dot? Okay. Also lazy. It seems like a lot of the bunnies that are the boys are lazy. He's adorable. Look at him. He looks like a little nerd. Some people might not like how his face is just totally blue and then the rest of his body's orange. Oh, I never noticed that. Oh, really? Yeah. Along with his plays, he's supposed to resemble this kind of teacher, professor, and I love that. Yeah, doctor. I'm gonna be a teacher. We have a rattle for that! Not Mr. Doc. His catchphrase is Old Bunny. He used to have a mustache in the earlier games. It was not cute, it was like a gray one. And they removed it, now he's adorable, and I'm really glad that they did because I really like Doc. And if he had a mustache, I'd probably be like, I really like Dottie. I had her in my wild world. She's adorable. She's really cute. She's peppy also. Her name relates to her large circled eyes. Her catchphrase is we won. Because she's small. Does it she not look like a cat? No. I don't know why I think she's a cat. <laughs> I look at her and I think of a cat. Dottie's home looks very modern. It's very like plant, nature like. Mm, green. Next we have Gabby. Aw, cute. I don't Gabby really like her. her. Gabby is here to say she is different. She has different kind of hair. She's got her hand out like this. And we know how queens love to do this. It's huge. <laughs> oh, I see yes. now. I love the brown under half of her, her brown tail. I love how her little paws are yellow and rimmed. The dots going under her eyes. I really don't like her that much. Her catchphrase is honey bun. And that's all I really have to say about her. I don't like her huge nose. It's kind of a distortion to her face. Hey. What are you saying about big noses? You mean this? <laughs> I'm kidding. She's really not that interesting. Yeah, maybe not. Gaston. Oh, Gaston. So he's cranky. I used to have Gaston. I guess my new leaf. He's also inspired by Frenchman. Francia. Is that France? I did think of the guy from Reading the Beast. His catchphrase is like my sweet, right? But yeah, Gaston, he is a delight. He was on the Animal Crossing Population Growings cover. I think he would be a great figurehead for the cranky species. Genji. I know you really like Genji. I did. did. I still like him. He's I mean, a jock. The jock's a new leader. Okay. In New Leaf, he was always really fun to go and see. He was the first one, I think, to call me something. I know that his face is something maybe kabuki, maybe something along those lines of culturally related Well, Japanese. he resembles a mochi, which is those little like ice cream rice cakes. Huh. And those are so good. I, yeah, I love that. And they also say that his name comes from the tale of Genji, which is considered the world's first novel. I did not know his catchphrase was mochi. But they changed it okay. to New Horizons. Okay. okay. I like him. Genji's place is really cute for the Zins. Hawkins. Bunny doll. I did not know there was an actual thing on this head. That's kind of gross. I thought it was gonna look cute and it doesn't. It's like big and bulging. I think he's cute. I like the concept. He's lazy. His catchphrase is Thumper from the movie Bambi. I don't get that. I mean, he's Thumper. But he's an inflatable toy. I know. Here's the connection. Didn't make it. His house, though, is really cute. Love the game rooms, like the arcades. Now we have Miss Mira. She is sisterly. She's based off of Sailor Moon. Character Sailor Venus, which is Minako Ionel. Oh, we'd even say that the rabbits are called Usagi. The Moon Bunny. So That's what Usagi cute. means. Mira is on my island, and I had no idea she had any correlation to Sailor Venus, and it made me love her even more. Look at her mask. It's the same as Sailor V's mask. She has a little pink lip to the side. That pertains to the sister. Mary's face kind of has that, Oh, it, it, yeah, for sure. She has a red star on the back of her head, and her catchphrase is... Is cottontail. I will change her catchphrase to something Sailor Moon related though. Please, that'd be better than cottontail. Love the blue, love the red. I wish it wasn't yellow. That's my only thing. Love me. I always yeah. have. Only downside is her home. Nintendo, I know you ain't listening, but what the <coughs> What is going on with her house? It's like a play, which makes sense if she's trying to be like a pretend superhero or something, but like it's literally just cutouts in her house. But I love Mira. She's really cool and I love her concept. This is a newly discovered queen. Yes. His name O'Hare. And oh my god, my life has changed now that I know He's him. everything for Kevin. His name is a play on hair. I love that name. 
I just love him. He's an islander. He has a high. He is the first villager to include like an accessory on their body. He's wearing the cute little pineapple tropical shirt. He's got green in his ears and his nose is green. I love his hair. He's also smug, so we really do like the smug personality too. We do. So literally, he's perfect, and I know you want to talk about his house. Well, first, he says amigo. His home is so cute. Kind of like Cole's, but it's better in the fact that it has two separate islands. Pippi the precious little powder punny. Not cute. She is so cute to me. She's peppy. Her catchphrase is little hair. That's you. But her eyes. They're a little <laughs> creepy, but I just like the way those colors. I like her, but I don't like want her as like a peppy villager. And her place is very boring. Ruby. Her name comes from her red eyes, obviously. She's an albino rabbit and she's also peppy. I also think she was really creepy. Like, it's fine. It grows on you, I think. And her place is so cool. It's space themed. She's it the moon rabbit. Yeah, she looks like a little alien. She says little ears. Yeah, right. that's cute. She's different for a peppy and I she like is. that. Name. I'm a snob. I really do like Snake. He's a jock, and I know what you're thinking. We don't like jocks, but I do like Snake because he is different. He's a ninja. We're coming around to jocks more and more. His name is an anagram of Snake. So he's <laughs> named after a famous ninja. His catchphrase is Bunyip, is the name of a monster with a serpent-like characteristics in Australian mythology. Did I not do any research on Snake? What I heard, he was based on the Metal Gear Solid Snake from like Super Smash and those games. I mean, it can be implied as both. Oh, yeah, they both wear the same headband. Yeah, and you actually can have the same hood as him. So you can match him if you have him. And he's pink. We love that. Yes. In his place, it's cute. <laughs> Miss Assy, she is like the Monique of the money. They are like everything a snooty character is to me. He's a sass. Beaded face. The mean look. Yes. And her catchphrase is Bun Bun. So her appearance is similar to film genre film noir, which is where a female actress wears red lipstick, monotone color makeup, and has a poker face expression. This is icon She's really cool. Oh my god, in her eyebrows. Oh my god, oh my god. In the lips. And if you don't like these snooty characters that look like this, you just hate women. But oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh no, 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 we're not even done yet. And her place is a game room. Gamer girl. She's a gamer girl. You know why? Because she has boys over. her. <laughs> So, the bunnies. Love the bunnies. I can go ahead and confidently say that. We worship. All right, let's rate them. Bottom, cold, but literally not even that bad of a bottom because his place is really cute. But whose house is better? The best, the queen. I love over here. He's so cool. Love the hat. I cannot wait for him to come to my island. He's literally Kevin. No. But I also love Tiffany. She's an icon. She is the blueprint for the moon. My bottom is also Cole. And then my favorite is Mira, the Sailor Moon Queen. Aww. And she's on my island, so obviously I love her too. Bits, bits, bits of the bunnies. That's amazing. We all know who my all-time favorite is, and we all know who your all-time favorite is. Yeah, that concludes this video on bunnies. Let us know your favorites and your least favorites. Like and subscribe, and tune in next week at 10 a.m. for another video continuing on. Chugga, 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 chugga to the next. See you then.